Hey guys, it's been a little while since we've done a little fabrication project and one of the best parts of getting a new tractor, one of the things I've been excited about is to create little implements for it. So of course we got the Ford 9N right outside the shop here and it's got a three point hitch on it so we're going to make a three point hitch trailer moving attachment. Basically it's just going to be a trailer ball that you can connect to the three point hitch. So here kind of as our template is going to be the category one drawbar that I bought for this tractor. That's going to give me the length because I know that thing fits pretty well. And over here in the scrap pile, I think I've got the perfect piece of scrap pipe for it. Well, it's square tubing, but you get it. So this scrap piece of square tubing is so close to the correct length. It's almost like it was made for it. I'm just going to go ahead and use it. So I started putting this together late Saturday night and uh, over the weekend I ended up coming across a TikTok video. I refused to download the app for about the first two years it was out. Maybe it's only been a big deal for about the last two years, I don't know. But I recently downloaded it and I'm embarrassed to admit that I probably spend way too much on the stupid app. Anyway, one of these things I came across was somebody criticizing a roll bar that goes over a truck bed like a headache rack but it's like the roll bar that goes in the back of the truck bed. Anyway, he's criticizing it. He didn't like the weaves in it. I thought they were pretty decent looking welds. He called it poor craftsmanship or poor workmanship or whatever. Hey, speaking of poor quality workmanship, we're gonna take this piece of 14 gauge steel and use it as our vertical piece here for the top link on the three point hitch of the tractor and uh, run our trailer ball through it weld a nut to the top of it and weld it to this with a little bit of bracing. If it doesn't work, I know a guy with a welder and a grinder, we'll cut it off and replace it. This is why the Yes Welder Flux 135 needs to have the dials labeled and then have a little chart to refer to. This is my first weld. Pretty, pretty bad. I honestly should have stopped and made adjustments. This is my second weld, weld much, much better. Probably could adjust it a little bit more. With this first weld, I think I may just grind it out and totally redo it.
right, sorry about the mess here. I'm uh, usually much more tidy than this, but I'm really just kind of wanting to wrap this video up. So how did the little test run go? Well, it was pretty good, especially with the utility trailer. Everything was pretty fine, except for the fact that I think I had a little bit of a geometry problem with this top link. As you can see, we ended up bending it. I believe that that is because of uh, some of the geometry issues here. I'll have to experiment with different top links, see if we can't change some of that and fix it. So besides that problem, I'm sure you'll notice by now that this is all bent up. That'll be easy to straighten out. And uh, even though it kind of looks like a failure, and to some extent, I suppose it is, I'll tell you what, it had more to do with this little ball hitch pin. As you can see, it's bent up right here, pinched in this clip. I can't even get the clip out now. And what happened really, is uh, it was run through the top link here and uh, I ended up hooking up my dump trailer. Yes, I do have a dump trailer now. We'll talk about that later on. It's not a great big huge dump trailer. It's actually really probably one of the more smaller ones that they make at all, but definitely a big heavy duty trailer. And what happened was I had taken off and then I had kind of stopped a little bit uh, to try and adjust, not stop a little bit. I stopped pretty rapidly, not on purpose. I'm still trying to get used to that tractor. I can drive uh, manual transmission with a clutch very well. That's what I, you know, first started out driving was an 88 F-150 with a manual tr clutch and then a Chevy S-10 with a manual clutch, then a Toyota Corolla with a manual transmission. I keep saying manual clutch, but anyway, so that's not really the problem. The tractor's just a little bit different. It's taking some getting used to and I kind of smashed that up and caused all that weight of the trailer, the momentum of the trailer to go forward and it kind of bent it up out of shape. And the reason why I bent it up out of shape was because of the pin. This piece that's all curved and bent here, curved with this and uh, slid out and disconnect from the top link. Something I think would kind of help out with this is uh, maybe putting a little cross support here, like a little uh, half a strip of bar stock or something to help support it a little bit to keep that sort of thing from happening again. Uh, the biggest thing is just gonna be using an actual uh, top link or hitch pin, a longer, straighter, thicker, this is too thin too, uh, thicker piece of steel. So that, that pin was the main problem. Part of it was, yes, it is some thinner steel, but it would have worked fine had it had the right pin, I think. Nothing else is really bent or broken. Everything else is in pretty good shape. The tractor did have a little bit of a struggle lifting up the dump trailer. That's how heavy it is. Even without the geometry problems of the top link, even when I got it up a little bit higher, it still kind of had uh, a little bit of a struggle trying to lift up those uh, three-point hitch arms. So. The hydraulics aren't super healthy on that tractor. They need to be uh, fixed. I actually have a whole new seal kit in the house right now. Just need to find the time to do the repair. But yeah, I know it looks a little bit more like a failure than it is. I would like to clean off all the uh, spatter and then uh, maybe even grind some of the uglier welds down and paint it up. And I probably will, but I just want to get a little bit of more time using it before I kind of make it finalized. Like I said, I think I want to put a little bit more bracing or supports here. I said I was going to do some gusseting here. I don't think that's really necessary. Anyway, I'll shut up at this point. I know it looks worse than it is. I kind of hate to end the video here, but I'm feeling good enough about it as much as it looks like a failure. I'm feeling like it was a success enough that I can go ahead and end this video. And uh, I made my first little decent three-point hitch thing here. And despite the way it looks right now, I think it turned out okay. I need to get some of the geometry figured out. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.